In this code sample, we will write short code in PHP that connects a MongoDB running on a remote server, a remote server handled by Compose. Browsing at Compose.io, you can create an account. Once an account is created, you cr can create a MongoDB database which can be later connected remotely from code you write in PHP or any other programming language. Here, uh, in my composed account, I have already created a database. Its name is Life Michael MongoDB. It is very simple to create new databases. Just click the button. Then, you can get for each database the required data for uh, connecting the database. So, for example, if we check uh, Life Michael MongoDB database, currently it is empty, uh, you can find uh, over here the possibility to add a new database user if you want. Uh, you can also get a simple link for uh, your code when you want to connect this database from uh, a program you write. So just uh, click the connect directly to your database and then you will get everything you need. Here I get the exact instructions for connecting the database uh, from the command line. If I browse the terminal and try to um, perform this uh, uh, command, I will get a connection with uh, the Life Michael MongoDB database hosted on Compose server. Here, if I type uh, DB, I can get the name of the database I'm now connected with. Here, you can also find the data you need if you want to write code in PHP or Java or any other programming language that connects the database. So. If we check the code I've already uh, written, you can find that here in this short code in PHP, I create a new object from the class Mongo client and I pass over to the constructor uh, the exact uh, string you can find over here. Uh, just replace user and password with uh, your specific username and password and the rest uh, remains as is. You can find the name of the database over here. You can find that um, the server, Compose server, uh, listens uh, in port 10038 and the name of the Compose server on which uh, we have the MongoDB database is uh, this specific name. So let's go over the code in PHP. First, I create a Mongo client object, meaning I get an object that represents a connection to the database. The database, its name is Life Michael MongoDB. Now, if I try to access the property Life Michael MongoDB, which is the name of my database, I will get in return assigned to $DB a reference for an object that represents the specific database. So dollar connection is assigned with a reference that represents the connection. Then, when referring the name of the data database, I get $db assigned with a reference for an object that represents the database itself. Then, if I know in advance that I have a collection, its name is product, I just need to refer the variable products and then get $collection assigned with a reference for an object that represents the products collection. If the products collection still doesn't exist, it will be created. Here you can find how I add two new documents to the products collection. Each document is represented using an array. An array in PHP is a key value pairs, uh, so it is an associative array. So actually, dollar document is assigned with an array that holds these uh, three key value pairs. You can also imagine these three key value pairs as uh, a document in JavaScript. And here, calling the function insert 
on the object that represents the products collection this is a way for uh, adding the new document to the collection we do it again adding another document and then in this short code sample I invoke the function find on the object that represents the products collection and get dollar cursor assigned with a reference for an object which is a cursor, a cursor I can use for iterating all uh, documents the find function returns. So I just iterate the cursor and in each iteration I uh, get dollar doc assigned with uh, an array that represents a specific document. So let's try to execute this code sample. Let's just refresh our code sample and get to see the output. As you can see, the output indicates that um, we actually succeeded. We have actually succeeded adding the two documents and here we get those two documents uh, details back to the screen. Now if I browse over here the Compose website and refresh as you can see I have a collection its name is products and if I click it I get to see the data it holds.